Welcome to Health Matters, a show about what matters in your health here in Worcester. This is a show that is a collaboration between the Worcester District Medical Society and WCCA-TV, your community TV station in Worcester, Massachusetts. This evening, we're going to be talking about dermatology, which is the branch of medicine that has to do with the skin and everything about the skin. It turns out that getting to see a specialist in dermatology is sometimes very difficult. I'm joined this, for this show by two outstanding physicians and rising physicians to talk about how you can obtain services for skin evaluation, diagnosis, and treatment here in Worcester. Um, on my immediate right is Sarah Savatalab. She is a senior dermatology resident at the University of Massachusetts Chan Medical School Dermatology Residency. Did I get that you pretty got close that to right? right. Chief, Nailed it. Chief okay. resident. Wonderful. Uh, Chief resident. Yeah. I, okay then. <laughs> um, and then to her right is Stephanie Choi, who is a third year medical student at UMass Chan. And I'll just say out loud that the third year of medical school is a very taxing year. And here you are taking time out of that very busy life to join us um, for this show, and I appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Our, my very, my great pleasure. And I'm eager to set the stage, and either Stephanie or, is that okay? If yeah, Stephanie of course. and Sarah, yeah. good. Um, set the stage for me about skin care and getting dermatology services. Why is this something that you guys care about in Worcester? Definitely. Well, skin is the biggest organ that we have in our body. Good and point. it is the most visible organ as well. Right. So especially being in Worcester when it's sunny, even when it's in winter and there's you know snow and things are reflecting, you get a lot of sunlight. And we like to make sure that patients don't have skin cancer. So okay. checking yourself for skin cancer is important, but you can't see everything. So it's important for patients to have a regular skin check from their physician. And then if their physician, their PCP, see something, then they refer to dermatology. So for most skin-related things, you can start with a primary care provider. Yes. And, but you should expect that that person will examine you carefully. Yes. So as a patient, for instance, if I have a rash on my elbow, um, should that provider check my back and make sure that I'm not have something on my back that I can't see? Probably not at an urgent visit, just for the rash on the elbow, but okay. at least at the yearly physical exam. And if patients have increased risk factors for skin cancer, such as um, family history of melanoma, so in a first degree relative, parents. Melanoma. So melanoma is one of the um, most serious skin cancers. It I has see. a very high mortality rate when it is caught not early. So okay. it's something that we're always looking out for. So it's like many cancers, if you catch it early, you've got a much better chance of surviving. Treating, treating. And this melanoma, you said people often will die, but are there some new treatments for melanoma that make it more survivable? Definitely. There's okay. a lot of treatments. There is um, usually it would be local surgery depending on the stage of melanoma. Mm -hmm. If it's a more advanced stage, the mortality goes up than I if see. it's just local. There's immunotherapy, um, there's more you know intense surgery, but mostly for the later stages, it's the immunotherapy that is important. And it can be life-saving, but okay. once you're a little bit too late on the early side, mm -hmm. it's very hard to go back. So I don't mean to ask you to deliver a lecture on <laughs> dermatology and skin cancers, but I do wonder, um, are there other skin cancers that people should just be aware of? Definitely. So there are two 
um, the most common being a basal cell carcinoma. I'm sorry, tell me again. Basal cell carcinoma. Basal cell carcinoma. So that's right. the most common skin cancer. Right. And it happens in people with light skin. Okay. With a lot of um, intense and intermittent sun exposure. So people who in the summers in the Northeast, they like to go to the beach or they go vacation in bright sunny spots. Um, right. Those are the people who are gonna be high risk. I see. Okay, then, so we've got melanoma and basal cell. Yeah. And there's another one you said? Yep, the third one that we that is um, more common out of the many other skin cancers is squamous cell carcinoma. And I'm sorry, that one's the most common? No, or, uh, no basal there's cell. three that, we, that are the most common in dermatology. Okay. Um, so basal cell, squamous cell, right. and then melanoma. And melanoma. I see, okay. Now, um, how easy is it for a person who is um, checked by their primary care provider or perhaps you know just is worried and they want to see a specialist mm -hmm. how, how easy is it to do that generally it should be easy enough to get in with a primary care provider right no i understand yeah. but what about the specialty so part? it's difficult it can be challenging to get in with a specialty service I if see. it's not urgent and we do have a phone triage system that kind of can dictate what's urgent and what's not urgent. Um, so if it's routine, you're looking at six months out booking. And it's specialists are more expensive. Yep. And co pays are higher. There's right. procedures involved sometimes that people might not know that actually has a co pay associated with it, or if they have a high deductible, even you know, freezing with liquid nitrogen I cryotherapy see. can incur costs. Got it. Stephanie, I'm going to turn to you at this point and say um, there is this organization called WooDerm. Yes. Woo being for Worcester, yes. right? And Derm being for dermatology. Yes. Um, and that is connected to the free clinic organizations, organization that exists in Worcester. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us more about the free clinics generally and then... Where did Woo Derm come from and why? Yeah, so um, Worcester has um, a series of free clinics that are run by the UMass Chai Medical School along some um, other UMass providers. Um, it has been established for quite some time and we have locations really in different corners of Worcester. Mm -hmm. um, and for Woo Derm, the idea is that we want to collaborate with the Worcester Free Care Clinic, which is really well established in the community, right. um, to provide free dermatology services to patients. I'm sorry, free? Yes, it is true. Free. Free, yes. It is free dermatology services to patients who might not otherwise get an appointment um, with a dermatologist or who might just not have a connection or don't know where to start. So we want to really be there for our community members who are interested in getting a visit with a dermatologist um, or interested in getting um, a particular skin lesion checked. Um, so that we can be the platform to connect patients with the UMass Derm Clinic. I see. How, how did you make a decision that dermatology in particular was something that people should have access to? Yeah, so as Sarah has mentioned earlier, you know, it could be quite difficult for a lot of patients to um, make a dermatology appointment with a dermatologist, um, given that you know sometimes if it's not urgent, there's a long wait list, and so we do see the need of it. Um, and, and the second point is that um, in Worcester, there's currently no other services that provides free dermatology. Um, whether it's treatment or screening or anything related to that. Um, so we are really the first um, free germ clinic in the city of Worcester. Wow. It also, I was thinking, Sarah, you would mention that the skin is the largest organ mm -hmm. in the body and has exposure, obviously, yet it's something that we don't always pay attention to. And it doesn't seem to get the same attention as a heart attack, for instance, or a stroke. I mean, cancer is certainly part of it, but I don't see skin cancer as the focus as much as I hear about other kinds of cancers, breast cancer and 
mm-hmm. colon cancer and things like that. But this is a, a service that is available in all of, you said the free clinics are throughout Worcester, different places. Mm-hmm. And WooDerm is connected to those free clinics. Yes. Okay. So currently, we only have um, our service at the Abworth location, but we are hoping to, in the future, um, expand it to other locations as well. Um, but because it's a relatively new concept, we are piloting this program um, at Abworth. Okay. Um, I, th- I wonder that there, it's Epworth Church, is that right? And it's located, where is that located in Worcester? Do you recall? So it's close to UMass Memorial um, and the Memorial Campus and mm-hmm. near WPI. It's on Salisbury Street. On Salisbury Street. And it's the Epworth Methodist Church. Epworth on... Methodist Church. There's another one across the street, which I think is a Lutheran church. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> I think so. And it's not that you discriminate against <laughs> Lutherans, but it just <laughs> happens that the clinic is at the Epworth. My mother Epworth... actually grew up Lutheran. So... <laughs> okay. But, so it's in the Epworth Methodist Church yeah. on Salisbury Street. And I think we'll have a graphic that we'll be running off and on during the show for people to have that information that they can write down. Perfect. Um, was the, what was the idea? I mean, how did, how did the need for these services to be available to people who otherwise wouldn't be able to access them? What was, was it because people were, the folks in the free clinic were noticing that there were a number of patients who had skin problems that would benefit from having a dermatologist? And I guess, Sarah, you've been in this for years, Yeah. right? Yes. Is that, how did this come to be? This. So exactly similar to what Stephanie was saying, um, myself and a few other amazing medical students saw that there was a need for free and accessible care to dermatology services for patients. So this is sort of 2015, 2016, somewhere in there? I would say there? somewhere around there. I yeah. did take a brief detour and did um, a training at Mass General for pediatrics, some Ford certified pediatrician. Oh, I see. Where I did a lot of advocacy. Okay. And then when I really decided I wanted to do pediatric dermatology and I came back to Worcester, I saw through being in the hospital and seeing consults in the emergency room and on the floors, there were a lot of patients that needed access to dermatology care. And it was often overlooked, as you said, patients who are experiencing housing instability, some that were living in tents or in the woods, didn't have shoes. They were um, afflicted by, you know, anything from contact dermatitis to pernio or frostbite and -hmm. and skin cancers as well. Um, So seeing all of these patients and then, you know, treating them in the acute setting and then they would go home or go back to the outside world and then come right back with the same problem because they weren't able to get free and consistent accessible care. So yeah. we really wanted to change that and Stephanie and I really aligned on our goals and kind of at the same time decided we really wanted to have this idea come to fruition. So we really had a force of medical students and dermatology residents and um, came together we to came together and along this. with the amazing faculty at UMass, they were very supportive of our efforts. I'm just going to pause for a moment and remind our, our viewers that this is Health Matters, and we're focusing in this show on a program called WooDerm, which is a mechanism for uh, folks in Worcester to have access to dermatology specialty services at the Epworth uh, free medical clinic at the Epworth Methodist Church. I'm joined by Sarah Servatalab, who is the chief resident in dermatology at UMass, and Stephanie Choi. One, one of them. One there of are them. many. Okay. <laughs> and Stephanie, who is a third year medical student. Um, you had just mentioned that you're a board certified pediatrician and you're interested in pediatric dermatology. Yes. I assume. Um, While we mentioned the kinds of uh, cancer problems that everyone worries about, obviously, what about in the pediatric, in the, what are the 
children in Worcester, what kind of issues would a uh, would it be beneficial, you know, for someone to go to the free clinic and bring their kids in order to have a uh, skin issue? What are the skin issues for kids? So inflammatory skin disorders like eczema, psoriasis, those things are very, very common. I would say eczema is the most frequently encountered skin condition in pediatrics in general. Um, and, and it can be pretty severe. Yeah, it really can. And, you know, when we talk about skin cancer and all of the really dangerous things in dermatology, the other side of that is skin conditions and itch and being itchy can be extremely torturous. You know, in other, in medieval times, they used to torture people with itch. They used to, you know, put bugs that caused pruritus. Oh, wow. um, on people that they wanted to torture. So, so pruritus is that is, itch. is the medical term for being itchy. Yes, I see. Okay. So itch can be terrible. People have jumped out of buildings because they're so itchy. So it's something mm. that we are very, very, we want to make sure that it is addressed and that we capture everyone. Because if someone is really itchy, they have a six month wait to go to dermatology. I see. They're gonna be not experiencing a good a good time for you know those six months and right. they potentially their mental health can be affected by that okay Stephanie can you tell me a little bit more about what you hope to accomplish with Wooderm I mean obviously it's to help people not jump out of buildings <laughs> and also not die of skin cancer or be plagued by that but what are the what are the kinds of things that that you hope to accomplish and what if you accomplished so far? How long has this program been going? Yes, um, so as we mentioned earlier, you know, um, before the formal establishment of WooGerm, we have had um, other community outreach events such as skin cancer screening um, as a way to kind of introduce the UMass Germ Department to the city of Worcester. And with the establish establishments of WooGerm, we're really hoping that patients can see us as a stepping stone to getting connected to the UMass Germ Department. Mm -hmm. um, um, this can be done so while they're waiting for their appointment and that um, with a formally established dermatologist to come to our clinic, um, this free clinic, to get the timely service they need. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the biggest thing is that we hope to make dermatology service accessible and equitable to all. Um, and then the second thing is that um, at the free clear clinic, if patients do not have health insurance or have other medical concerns, they can also go to the other side where in the same building we have Woodrum, but also other medical providers who provide general, um, general medical care right. to get the same care around the same time. You I know, see. where they can get all these free services at one location, kind of skipping through the barriers of insurance, of wait time. And so this is really our biggest goal to make ourselves accessible to the community. And how long has WooDerm been actually operational within, it's the Epworth Methodist Church Clinic. How long has, has this been going for a year or? Yeah, so it's it's really new. Um, we started it earlier um, last fall, um, and so uh, this is going to be, I would say, maybe like our six or seven clinic time this month, and we have consistent clinic once a month on a Monday evening in conjunction with Atworth Free Care Clinic. Um, the dates right now um, are kind of evolving that it's different every month, which you can find more information later on with a graphic that will be displayed. Um, but we're hoping that in the future we can make this a more consistent timing for all um, and that um, we're hoping that this is going to be a established you know, program within the Worcester Free Care Collaborative System. All righty. Uh, and as we said, we'll reserve time at the end of the show just to, to give people the information about what the number is to call or where to go. Um, but I thought it might be fun. Um, it is winter. And I wondered, what are some of the skin issues? We, you've talked about sunshine and, you know, going to the beach and everyone knows about sunscreen kind of stuff. What about skin in the winter? What kinds of things do, should, should we worry about as citizens of Worcester about 
our skin in the winter time? I think dryness, moisture. Okay. Moisture is important. Moisturizer is very, very important to use every day. Um, people who are prone to eczema, which is you know a lot of children, but also adults, mm -hmm. need to really pay attention to moisturizing their body. A lot of older adults will also get really bad eczema. I'm not saying it's you, <laughs> <laughs> but really bad eczema on their legs in the winter. And we call that eczema crackle. It's just, you know, a word mm -hmm. that we use for it. But hot showers, harsh soaps are all things that kind of contribute to that. So keeping showers kind of warm, not hot, using dove sensitive bar soap. That's my go-to because it has almost nothing in it that causes any allergies. Oh, I see. Okay. And um, moisturizing. It has soap, yes. Oh, it's, cl it's cleaning, <laughs> um, but very, very mild. So yeah. using that and then using a very strong cream moisturizer. That's, you know, we have a low allergen list that, of things that we provide, but um, I my go-tos are Dove Sensitive Bar Soap and Vanny Cream Moisturizing Cream. I see. So it's the fall and we go through the change of the season with the leaves and all and now the winter is coming and we've got heat going in our houses mm -hmm. and that makes our houses dry and it's yeah. also colder outside so dry skin yeah. is a key are there other things that people need to worry about in the winter time you still always need to worry about sun protection <laughs> oh, even okay. so sunscreen should be worn every single day no matter what day of the year it is, so 365 days of the year, mm -hmm. no matter what the temperature is outside, if it's raining, if it's snowing, if it's overcast, if it's an eclipse that's coming up soon, still mm -hmm. got to wear sunscreen every single day and reapply frequently at least every two hours, um, as best people can remember. Okay. But no matter what the temperature is, there's still UV rays. Okay. And tinted sunscreen is actually what we recommend. I'm sorry, tinted, tinted sunscreen. Yep, tinted sunscreen. So is my skin going to look blue? or? What it won't. Blue? It will actually, there's different tints to match your skin. So I use lightly tinted. You probably need a, a little bit lighter than that. But, but not, we blue. Can, not blue. Not <laughs> blue. Okay, I think good. we can find I, it for I you. I was hoping that <laughs> would be the case. Um, now, I'm a family doctor, it turns out. And I worry sometimes about bone health mm -hmm. and about vitamin D and mm -hmm. about sunlight having a role in helping vitamin D get into bones and keep people with strong bones. If people are wearing all this sunscreen, is that gonna interfere with their ability to have strong bones? That's a great question and one that comes up a lot. Um, vitamin D, yes, it is activated in our skin. Um, and I think if you took everyone in this room serum vitamin D level in the lab, we would all probably be deficient. And I think a few months ago was probably like our peak store. So all the vitamin D that we collected over the summer, mm -hmm. you really, you still can process and get vitamin D um, even when you have sunscreen on, especially sunscreen needs to be applied every two hours and, and not a lot of people are doing that. But taking a vitamin D supplement orally is the best because I think in this hemisphere, we're all vitamin D deficient I anyway. See. And if those with darker skin especially are at higher risk for vitamin D deficiency. So there, there are some therapeutic benefits from sun exposure, but too much is a problem. Yes, okay. exactly. So dry skin is a wintertime issue and, um, and remembering to pay attention to skin protection from the sun. Mm -hmm. Are there other winter uh, skin tips or are we good? I think viral illnesses in general for those that have kids. Oh. Um, hand, foot, mouth disease is really big right now and it mm -hmm. probably has been since December. So hand, foot, and mouth disease. Yep. And that's a viral illness. Yep. Is that right? It's a virus. And why does it have that name? It has that name because it does exactly that. There are little bumps on the hands, um, in the mouth, and in the hard palate, making it difficult for kids to eat. It can be really painful, mm -hmm. um, and on the feet as well. And it can be kind of everywhere. You can get a generalized rash. So I see. I think parents become a little perplexed, but um, when we see them in clinic, we know exactly what it is, and the good news is the virus, and it's going to go away. But right. it is contagious. So that's why it's lucky we have a pediatric dermatologist. Who is, <laughs> well, you're sort of headed in that direction. 
So let's focus uh, in our last few minutes from the show on helping people understand, again, how they access the WUDERM services, where they go, if, I don't know if there's a telephone number that someone's supposed to call or not. I do have a, uh, a, a flyer, and I don't know if we'll be able to project that or not, but um, maybe you guys could just review what, there we got the phone number is 774-312-7402. And uh, Stephanie, again, could you review how people um, find Epworth and what they should expect when they get there if they've got a, an issue that they want their skin checked? Yes. Um, so if patients know that they want to come in on a certain day and they want to secure an appointment, we do recommend them to call our dedicated phone line for Woodgerm. So as mentioned earlier, it's 774-312-7402. Um, through the number, you can leave a voice message and letting us know what your name is and why you want to see a dermatologist as well as what day you want to come in. Um, we do have a clinic once a month Month, so we do recommend coming in um, or scheduling an appointment for those um, once monthly clinic. Um, if they do not have a phone access, they can also simply just walk into the clinic. We do take walk-ins. Um, and this is, again, as mentioned, it's the same exact location as the other free care clinic. So the Abworth uh, Methodist Church on the 64th Salisbury Street in Worcester. Um, and typically, um, there isn't a long wait time, so um, obviously this could change as time goes by, but we really try our best to see every single patient that walk into the clinic and needs our help. So bottom line is, people could go to the Epworth Clinic actually on any Monday, and if, if they don't know when the dermatology specialists are there, and they'll find out because the folks will be able to tell them. Yes, right. that is correct. Okay. It's usually on the fourth Monday, but sometimes it changes with, you know, holidays. Got it. If that helps. All righty. Very good. Well, this has been another edition of Health Matters. We've been speaking with uh, Sarah uh, Sarvatab. Sarvatab, who, sorry. <laughs> no, thank you kindly, who is uh, a senior resident at UMass and with Stephanie Choi. My name is James Broadhurst. I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank Frank Rocco, our engineer. And I want to wish you all well here in Worcester. Have a great evening. <laughs>